Hey, welcome back here on Regional Radio Sports. Glad you can join us here from Bethel University. Glad to be joined here by Marissa Navarrete, member of the women's uh, softball team, playing for the legendary Natalie Newell. All right, so let's talk about playing for a, a true living legend in, in high school and college yes. softball. I had a chance to watch uh, Nat play when she was in college, and she was incredible. And I know she's been a great coach every step of the way, and she's really trying to transform the program. As a senior, well, you really want to go out on a good note. How is it, how excited are you about playing for her? Um, I've been very excited about it. It's been different having her skill set and knowledge brought to this team like halfway through my career here. Mm -hmm. It's been good. Well, I know for you, you've got a big challenge on your hand because you're involved in the nursing program here, yes. and I've had People uh, tell me that it's probably the, one of the most difficult degrees between your clinicals and all the other things going on. Just talk about the challenges of being a, a student athlete as well as one of the most challenging uh, principles that you're going to have here. Yeah, um, it's been tough to juggle, but I think being a student athlete pushes me a little bit harder to work harder in my classes as well as on the field just so I can be at the same playing level as my teammates. So you grew up in Arizona. Why would anybody in their right mind want to come from <laughs> Arizona to northern Indiana with all the snow that we have out <laughs> here? Uh, there's something, I know Nat, Nat's a great recruiter, which, but she didn't recruit you to come here. So tell us about getting out here. Well, I had some family that was up here before. My sister went to Notre Dame, so kind of knew the area. I liked Bethel, and so it seemed like a good fit. All right, let's talk about uh, your role now as a, as a senior on this uh, softball team. I know last year you started 37 games, 14 RBIs, 226 putouts, and you only had two errors the entire season. So that sounds those are some pretty good numbers to, uh, from last year. Can you improve on those? Yeah, I think there's always room for improvement. I'm hoping to do so this year, and I think having last year – Coach Newell, was, that was her first year, and so having the same coach for the second year will definitely help me a lot. Look back on your, uh, your, two previous, or your previous time here and talk about the, the, the growth that you've had, not only as a student, but as an athlete from the time you came in here as a freshman. Give us an idea in what areas you've grown up the most. Um, definitely in my leadership role, I think. Um, coming in, I was very quiet, didn't really fit in necessarily with the whole team, but growing these past four years has really pushed me to be more involved in the team and carry out this leadership role as being a senior. I would think that's going to be a natural for you once you get into the real world and you have to, you know, get a life on the line as a nurse. Mm -hmm. I think those kind of leadership qualities that you're gaining right now are gonna, they're going to pay dividends big time, don't you think? Yeah, it's definitely being an athlete has helped me in that aspect of my life. Okay, so what do you like about this team, uh, this upcoming sen seniors group, uh, the leadership capabilities of your senior class, and the collective group as a whole? As a whole, I think we all really mesh well together. I think compared to other years, this team, we all really get – along very well and especially the senior class we've been through a lot of the same things and so it's helped having us all get along to help us play on the field as well. Well you've had some success you know what it's like you want to state championship in high school yes. so talk about some of the lessons you learned winning a state championship as a high school student athlete and how some of those things eventually are going to help you this season. Um, well, being a part of that team in high school was, I thought that I learned a lot from it and then coming here and not necessarily playing a whole lot my first two years. So I think coming from there to here has given me like different opportunities mm -hmm. to... <laughs> Yeah, I grew a lot from those different transitions, and I think this year I th will be better. Who's the funniest person on your softball team? Amber Asher, for okay. sure. She makes everyone laugh a ton. Who's the most intense athlete on your team? Intense. 
I'd have to say Megan Pearson. She's got a very loud voice, and you can hear her from across the field. Who's the team that you look forward to beating the most this year? Mm, I woo. I woo. Yes. Notice has been served. <laughs> there you go. All right, great to have Marissa Navarrete with us. Thanks for joining us here on Regional Radio Sports.